Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another resin tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make snowflake ornaments. And these things are so cute. My mom pointed out that they're very, very similar to the Shrinky Dink snowflake ornaments I made last year, and they are, but they're different. The Shrinky Dink ornaments, I'll leave a link to that below, are very flat. And these are not flat. They are three-dimensional and shiny, you guys. Like, these molds are perfect for resin. And they are shiny, shiny, shiny. Which leaves you with snowflakes that look like crystals. And I am obsessed with them. So this mold actually came with three different designs. So you have this snowflake, this snowflake, and this snowflake all three snowflakes in three different sizes. So this is the medium. These are the large, which are a really good size. These are like two or three inches across. And then you have the tiny ones. Now the tiny ones do not have the pre-planned holes. Which are perfect for ornaments. So I didn't make a lot of those for ornaments. I simply made the medium and the large size. And I'm glad because I think the small ones would have got lost on the tree. I did make one set of the small ones and they are super cute, but like look how tiny that is. These would be great for scrapbooking embellishments though. I might make more of them for that. Either way, we're gonna get started. This is a really easy project. Like if you've never made resin projects before, like jump in, you can do this. I will show you how. It is so simple. So we're going to need our molds. We're going to need resin. I use Amazing Clear Cast Resin. It's really easy to use for beginners and you can get it in little bottles, medium bottles, big bottles, whatever bottles you like. You're going to need your pigments. So. For these snowflakes, I made four sets. I made a set in white, I made a set in light pink, I made a set in dark pink, and I also made a set in this copper. This is an oil-based paint, the copper is. It's a tester's brand for like model trains and things, but the rest of the paints are all just acrylic craft paints. You're going to need your respirator and gloves because safety is like the number one important thing you guys be safe you're also going to need your heat gun because all of these little nooks and crannies are perfect places for bubbles to hide and you guys you don't want snowflakes with a million different bubbles and all the little pretty parts so heat gun is a must because a torch will melt your silicone mold but a heat gun will not so heat gun is always your best friend for silicone molds silicone molds I swear I speak English. You're gonna need your heat gun. You're also going to need um, a little tray or a piece of cardboard. I like a baking tray so that you can put your molds on it and then move them from your well ventilated area into wherever you're gonna put them to dry. And I believe that is about it. If I've forgotten anything, I'll put a full supply list down below. You can click on the links, get whatever you need. And we're gonna jump right into making these snowflakes. Let's get started.
All right, y'all. I cannot believe how cute these little snowflake ornaments turned out. So, look at that. Like, these molds are so glossy. They look like little crystal snowflakes. I just love them. And there's like two or three different versions. You can make different sizes. I just, I honestly, I know I'm talking like to the tree. You guys can't even hear me, can you? It's fine. I just love them. I love them so much. So, as you can see, when I put them on the tree, I make sure to really, 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 really wrap that little wire around your branches. You don't want these to fall off for any reason, not because your dog bumped them, not because your kid was pulling on them. Resin is toxic, remember? Like, to animals, to kids, to husbands, anybody who might wanna put this in their mouth and take a bite. So, if you're going to put this on a tree, make sure that there is no way possible that they could come off. Either keep them out of reach of little fingers, or just wait till your kids are older. In my case, I don't have kids, but I do have dogs and cats that like to hit my tree, knock little balls off, be general rascals. So, I just make sure that my little branches are tied tight, and that there's just absolutely no chance anywhere that they can get them off i hope you guys liked this project if you did i've got a lot, lots more resin tutorials lots of cricut tutorials lots of christmas tutorials i made these stockings and the stocking tags those both have videos so check them out like comment subscribe for more projects as they come out live to you i will see you in the next video bye y'all